It's the biggest little countdown. Dave Gavitt. He was a basketball savant, just a genius. And Gavitt was a visionary, and he saw something that no one else saw, and also had the ability, because he had been an ex-coach, to be able to convince other coaches it was in their best interest. He had a goal, and he knew the concept was great, but to execute that goal was not easy, to get all those people with disparate points of view of academia, sports, etc., and uh, for a common goal of forming a league that could take advantage of that untapped sports market. We kind of take the Big East for granted in a lot of ways. It changed college basketball. He got frustrated with recruiting kids, whether in New York or the major, in Boston or the metropolitan areas, and they were all going out to the Big Ten, the Pac-10, the ACC. And he said, geez, we better get ahead of this curve and form our own uh, league that can keep this, the talent in the Northeast Corridor, which produces a lot of players. But it, it, not everybody could have executed that concept. Jim Beheim, the great Syracuse coach, has said this many times. Without Dave Gavitt in the Big East, Jim Beheim's not in the Hall of Fame. Jim Calhoun's not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Rick Pitino might not be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, he created a landscape that changed the entire sport. The ironic thing is Dave Gavitt made the 1973 Final Four Friars team, and that team, in some respects, made him. In 1973, he guided Providence College to the Final Four. Because you wanted to perform for this guy and give him everything you had. He had a, just great personal qualities. It was a short tenure as a coach, but boy, was he well respected. I think the interesting thing about Dave Gavitt is however revered he is around here, I think within the basketball world uh, in this country, he is even more so. How he represented himself was the best of Rhode Island. When you think of people and families that Rhode Island can be most proud of, uh, the Gavitts would be at the top of the list. Hold your applause.